Hey everyone, we are back right back here on my daily videos and I um, hope you're liking the, the content. I hope you guys are making it useful, hopefully making you think, which is what we're here for. Making us think differently, making us uh, see outside the box and hopefully gain some insight to live a, a much much more peaceful and calmer and better individual life for everyone. Is, everybody's different, right? But today I want to really bring up a topic where it's not really related to my self-help and also that I kind of really talk about. It's just... I was thinking about how when I first started my channel and I started my my content creation, I didn't know you know I, I, you Google you search you look up a lot of ideas a lot of a lot of creators giving you advice and you kind of wish you would have known this when you first started right there's a lot of things that I want to talk about but I'm gonna first start with the most important thing I think besides your camera um, and besides your lighting um, which I wish mine's a little bit better right now <laughs> but uh, your your audio right and and something that I've noticed is that I bought a pretty much what I, what I thought of, a really much good quality audio uh, microphone, shotgun mic. Well, it's a mini mic. It's called the mini, uh, the mini uh, Rode mic, um, Vid Pro, I believe it's called, uh, mini. Um, and it, it worked great where, you know, on vlogging style, on my camera. Um, and for the most part, did a great job. I love the quality of it. For such a small size, I love how it sounds, right? Um, but um, I really did really notice that once I started making my videos here in my home office in your home studio, you have to sit at a pretty much a different distance to get kind of yourself and also the whole the whole office itself, right? So I realized that um, it, I, the quality of the audio wasn't that great. It was too, a little bit too low. So what did I, you know, after careful research, I started looking online. Obviously, people were saying, you know, just get. Uh, obviously much more expensive mics there's a lot better mics out there better quality that produce better um, out output on on your on the distance depending on how far you are but you know a lot of these were pricey it was like from $300 and above and I was like oh well, you're not really investing in my camera I'm already investing in the mic let's see if I can find another way another solution and I came across a channel here on Think Media on YouTube if you guys look them up they're great and he also gives an advice where you can either buy the lav mic, which I really don't personally like lav mics, but you can do that as well. So you can be further away from the camera, or um, you can, he said, you can basically buy a, a mic stand, put your stand on a, on a boom stand, basically a, a boom stand, right? And I never thought about that. Once I got it, I did the research, I bought one. It was about, I think like 15, 20 bucks, I forgot how much exactly, but... It's not expensive. Um, they have expensive ones, but you can cheap ones. It's just to hold your mic, um, unless you're holding some pretty heavy stuff, but it's just a mic. Um, and it's literally right here um, above me. And I, I gotta tell you, the, the audio, video, the audio quality improved and it worked wonders. So I think personally, um, if I had to start, if I was to start today, I would definitely include that with my camera and my lighting obviously you just got to turn your camera and, and he says press record but you know you can do it with your phone as well but i think audio i personally anybody i, I think i heard a lot of individuals say that as well it's 70 percent of your quality i mean of your video right so your audio is a really big um i would say it, it's a big ingredient of your video not only does the camera obviously matter but your audio as well right if you have great quality of video but also but horrible audio it's kind of not that of a also intriguing video so i think audio does make a great difference and as i've seen a lot of videos and i see a lot of interviews there's always a boom stand with the mic overhead on the subject so if you're trying to record anything or you're recording somebody else an interview get the microphone as close as you can to the subject if you don't want to get a lav mic and you want to use shotgun mics then you're gonna have to get a boom stand i think for any, for any of us that are you know any of you that are YouTube videos, um, even vloggers, even even that are podcasters, um, obviously the closer the mic is to you, the better the quality of the sound. Um, and and again, everybody has their own choices, but I think if you're trying to improve audio quality and you're, you're trying to improve your YouTube channel and you're trying to make a lot better content, invest 15, 20 bucks in a mic boom stand, get the mic closer to you, you don't have to go out there and buy a $300 microphone, $400 microphone to improve your audio quality if you already have a microphone. If you don't, 
for obviously first and foremost get a mic the DSLR camera that I have most DSLR cameras that I know the audio is not that great when it comes to from far away right um, I hey everyone we're back we're back with another video here for my daily vlogs and um, just want to show everyone here the so how to be consistent right um, you stay with something you want to go ahead and stay through with it as much as you can uh, I know sometimes light a lot harder I mean a lot, I think the, the new Sony uh, ZV-1 they they improve their audio on their cameras but for the most part mine is an old school uh, not old school but it's Canon SL3 and um, it doesn't have great audio only maybe when you're vlogging is it could be a little bit better but once you set at this this angle it, it becomes echoey it doesn't give you that sharp audio um, on your video so first get that microphone and obviously you can go online and depending on your price range you can see a lot of different mics um, but once you get that the microphone is not the only thing it's also about the distance to the to the subject of you know the, the microphone so the closer the microphone the better the quality of the audio so sometimes it's not about how much you spend in the mic it's about how you can kind of work with what you have and make it sound better so if this has helped you hope it did <laughs> um, for all you guys in the journey as I am on uh, creating content audio matters <laughs> and I'm and I'm a big believer of this so this is why I want to make this video today here and just share with you go invest not only want to buy your own microphone, but invest in your mic boom stand. This way you can have your audio or your microphone closer to you, which will and then in the end give you a lot more better audio. And not only will your audience be able to hear you better, but I believe it sounds makes the video sound a lot more, I would say professional if you want to say. But at the same time, I don't have to be screaming. I don't have to be screaming, that was creepy. I don't have to be screaming on top of my lungs to be heard. So um, with that being said, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Take care. Peace.